How's it going, Jeremiah's? Your Yamaha PSR SX as well as your Yamaha PSR S series comes with as many as more than 500 different styles built in right out of the box. But most of us just use roughly about 20 to 30 percent of the styles most of the time, and after a while, it can all sound a little bit repetitive. So in this video, I will teach you five different ways for you to freshen up and lighten up the existing styles that is built into your keyboard, and it applies for any Yamaha PSR SX as well as any Yamaha PSR S series keyboard. We are talking about the PSR SX 900, the PSR SX 700, as well as the Yamaha PSR. S975, S970, PSR S775, as well as the PSR S770. Even if you have the older and more basic PSR S670, you can also apply most of the five different methods that I will be teaching you in this video. If this is your first time here, welcome. My name is Jeremy C and in this channel, I make reviews, tips and tutorials about a range of keyboards as well as digital pianos. If content like this interests you, make sure you subscribe and smash that notification bell icon to not miss out any video I upload. The easiest way to enhance and to modify your styles to make it sound a little bit more interesting and fresher is to use your live control knobs to affect the balance between the different tracks of your style. If you have a look here, I'm using the Smooth Pop Ballad. You can use any style. And if you go to the Assign, you want to make sure that it says Style Track Mute A, Style Track Mute B. If it doesn't, you will have to go into your Menu Settings and go into your Live Control Settings here and ensure that your different feature is set to style track mute A and style track mute B. This is how the styles sound like at the default setting. However, as I manipulate the live control knobs, you can hear that the style track mute A literally just cuts off all the higher end instruments like your phrases, your chords, as well as your guitar strums, etc. As you raise it up, it will introduce more tracks. You can hear that now you've got the rhythm track two, second track of the rhythm is played. As I increase it, you can hear the bass comes in. If I add it in some more, you can hear the electric piano start to come in. The guitar strumming starts to come in. Strings, pads start to come in. And when I increase it to the maximum, everything else is playing. And what does Style Track Mute B does? This is what it does. It cuts off the lower sounding instruments. You see that? So only the higher end chords and the phrases, the guitar strums, the pad sounds are heard. The bass is cut off, the drums are cut off, the rhythm is cut off. All right, you can hear that? And this only leaves us with the phrases. As I introduce more and more, the bass comes in. The mute guitar starts to come in. And eventually, some rhythm comes in and then all the rhythm comes in. So this is the full-blown styles that is found in that specific variation. So this is very useful for you to modify it to whichever way you want it to sound. And then you can save that into your registration memory. The next method is to turn on and off different channels on your style tracks so that you don't have such a rich sound or you have a sound that is different from the one that is already built into the keyboard. So we are using the same smooth pop ballad. And if you go into your mixer EQ, which is over here, right? And you ensure that you are in your style. That's for us to control all our styles. And if you look at the green buttons here, 
This is where you can turn on and off your different channels of your style. Let's have a listen. So this is with everything turned on. So if you want to thin it down, for example, you don't want a certain chords, you don't want the bass, you can just turn it off and all this will be cut off. Or if you don't like the pad sound, you can just turn that off. So you can control all of this, turn it on and off, as well as vary the different rhythms of the parts. You want your rhythm to be louder, sure, move it up. You want your guitar phrase to be louder, turn it up. You want your bass to be lower, turn it down. So as you can see, you can use all these features in your mixer to turn on and off different parts in your style as well as vary the volume between the different parts and you get a fresh new sounding style without putting in a lot of effort. The next method is to simply just switch out the instruments that has been programmed with the style with a different instrument. You can swap out drum kits, you can change to a different kind of guitar or a different kind of pad sound and that will give you a significantly more different kind of sound and I'll show you what I mean over here. So in the same way, you go into your mixer and EQ setting, that's the button over here and you look at these icons over here. If you click on it, right, if you click on the photo, the icon of the drums, you can actually change the drum kit. This is with the acoustic drum kit. You can change it to a vocal beatbox. That's a very, very different sound altogether. Or you can change to an analog T9 kit, for example. So it really depends on the kind of sound that you want with it. If you want to change to a trap kit, let me show you how it sounds with that. So really, the sky's the limit. You can even go extreme and try it with a Chinese kit. Instantly, you get a tremendously different sounding style without having to put in very much effort at all. Not only can you do that to the rhythm, you can use it with any other instrument. For example, let's say I'm going to change the guitar here, I tap on the icon, and I don't want to use the guitar, for example. I just want to use a vibraphone or a jazz vibes. Let's make it sound really, really different so you can hear what happens, okay? You can see it was previously showing a guitar icon here but now it's showing the vibes icon and instantly you get a very Chinese oriental kind of sound in here. All right, and you can turn off your different phrases as well. There you have it, the third way to ensure that you have a fresh new sounding style with very little effort. Next, what we're going to do is to borrow or steal one of the instrument tracks from a different style that is already in your keyboard and combine it and merge it with the style that you want to change. Let's have a look. So our default that we're using is the same smooth pop ballad. What if I want to use a bossa nova piano kind of riff and accompaniment pattern with this same style. This is what you can do. All you need to do is head over to your menu button, go into menu 2 and go into your style creator. It might look slightly different depending on the model you have but pretty much just try to go into style creator and look for this function called assembly. You have assembly here. So these are all the different chords etc that we are using in this smooth pop ballad. Let's say I want to use a bossa nova piano beat on one of my tracks here. All I need to do is select chord two, for example, and I choose a lounge bossa, right? And you can see that it actually allows me to choose which channel in that lounge bossa do I want to replace it with and merge it together with my smooth pop ballad.
right? You can also choose which variation of that rhythm you want to use. Okay, once you have selected that, all you need to do is press save and give it a new name. Smooth pop ballad, Latin, for example. That's what I'm going to type here. And that's it. And all you need to do is go to your expansion user and you look for your new, newly named style here, Smooth pop ballad, Latin. And there you have it. So you can hear that Smooth Pop Ballad right now has a Latin piano in it. I'll isolate it so you can hear. And the final method which I have for you, which is a little bit more tricky, it involves a little bit more skill, but I'm sure with a bit of practice, you can do it. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna record our own playing of a certain style element or a certain style channel and record it and save it into a unique style of our own. So in this case, I'm still gonna be using the smooth pop ballad. You can see the uniformity. And what we're gonna do is that we're gonna change the guitar sound. I'm going to turn off everything. This is the guitar right now. And we're going to change this to our very own strumming, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn back everything on here. I'm going to go into menu here and look for your style creator, which may be in a different menu depending on which model you're using. And we're going to go into recording channel here and red shows where the recording will happen and we do not want to record onto rhythm 2 so we turn it back on to green and we want to record on channel 2 but i don't want to use a nylon guitar so what i do is that i click on the icon of the guitar and i can change to a different guitar if i want to so i've decided to use a steel guitar super articulation steel guitar <laughs> So you can hear this is how it sounds like and what i do is that if i just hold on to this green part here it will ask me the data of the original style must be deleted before i record and i say yes and it will delete the existing guitar part of this style and wait for me to record my own part and remember when you're recording styles when you're programming styles you want to make sure that everything is recorded in c major that way it will react accordingly to your chord changes when you play it later on. So here, I'm going to turn on the metronome here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on sync start. And what it will do is wait for me to play. Once we're done, press stop, turn off the recording, and you can have a listen to how it sounds like. You can hear, that is how it sounds like. We can make it more obvious, right? I'm going to save that into a brand new one. Smooth pop ballad guitar. And once you've done that, if you go to your user memory in your user styles you will find smooth pop ballad guitar select that i'm gonna let you have a listen see that was what i was playing just now so this is how it sounds like compared to what was originally in there sounds totally different. This is the smooth pop ballad guitar.
I hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial that teaches you five different ways from the very basic to the slightly more advanced method of varying your styles so that you get a very unique pattern of your own to play along with your songs. And I'll see you in the next video. Keep making music. Peace and out.